Hi everyone, this is New York Beauty XOXO. I'm just doing a quick video on my laptop downstairs. Um, basically, um, because you know I've filmed quite a few videos about being raw and vegan and you know what type of diet I'm on and I don't know if anyone's interested but if this might help someone I'm just gonna make this video for you basically this video is what I'm eating for dinner um, it's a late lunch I think it's like almost four and I'm heading out um, so I might just grab a little tiny thing of cashews for the road or a banana to eat later on if I get hungry but basically this is like my meal um, so I just want to show you quick it's very easy to make there was no cooking involved and um, it doesn't quite fit the raw category because it was frozen veggie, but you know, it's close enough. Um, so anyway, if you had any um, interest in possibly making a quick and easy lunch where you don't have to buy something or eat anything fattening, um, hopefully th this video is for you. So I'm going to show you basically, now I'm done eating, so I just finished. I'll show you how much is left, what it looks like, and what the three ingredients were to make it. So it's in a bowl, and I actually ate it with a spoon because it's chopped pretty much. This is what's left. So it seems like there's a decent amount that's left over. When I made it, it made to where there was a little bit higher than, because this is a, technically a soup bowl in my china set. It was a little bit higher, so I ate that much and I was satisfied. So basically what's in here is one box of frozen veggies. Most grocery stores have, I know like Bird's Eye has it, but most grocery stores have their own brand of vegetables. And I usually get the chopped broccoli or the chopped spinach. Um, I prefer the chopped broccoli if I'm just going to eat it uncooked because basically when they do the um, frozen veggies, they're blanched, which means they're just thrown in hot water just to, um, to quickly cook it and then they like freeze it. So it's pretty much already cooked. So to recook it, basically you're just killing it. Um, as it is, raw vegetables are better and I do try to do that, but it's super hard to eat that way 90% of the time. So I do incorporate, especially later in the day or a late lunch, something like this. So what I did was this morning, or actually, I'm sorry, last night, I took one box of the broccoli and I defrosted it in my fridge. So it was kind of mushy by the time I went to eat it at lunchtime. Um, I just put it in the bowl. Um, I took two, my husband had got Mexican yesterday and I got a salad from there. Two little takeout containers of pico de gallo, which is just kind of like salsa that's not blended. Um, it's just tomato, onion, a little bit of like cilantro. So I had two little tiny like takeout cups of that. I added that to the broccoli. And we shared a container about that size of guacamole. It came with chips. So um, I had half um, last night on my salad, almost as dressing because I don't use salad dressing. And there was like a quarter of it left. So I just added that in with a spoon. And I mixed the pico de gallo, the two little cups, the guacamole, and that one box of broccoli, which is kind of like a side dish for a family of two or four, you know, so to speak. And I made dinner, and that's what I ate. I added a little salt. Um, I used Himalayan pink sea salt. I added some black pepper and a little bit of red pepper flakes um, because I like those. And that's it. That was my dinner. The guacamole really makes it satisfying because the avocado is, like, nice and fatty and buttery. And um, the salsa and the cilantro gives it, like, a clean, delicious, like, flavor. And that's it. I really liked it. And in maybe a little while, I'll finish it before I go out. And that's it. I mean, you know, eating healthy is pretty easy. You just have to kind of put a little thought and effort into it. For tomorrow, I'll probably defrost tonight for tomorrow's lunch the spinach and maybe I'll saute up some um, onion and tomato and I'll mix it in. And that's typically what I like. That's kind of like my go-to dish. I'll have spinach, tomato, and onion. I mix that up with salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. And I pretty much eat that almost every day. That's like my go-to. I really like spinach and onion together. Um, but the broccoli and the salsa, the gua I'm sorry, the um, pico de gallo is delicious as well. So those are two staples in my diet. Um, and in order to fill myself up as a vegan, it's really hard to feel satisfied if you don't have meat or fish or, um, you know, ice cream or bread or anything like that. Uh, I usually, my go-to is bananas. Bananas really fill you up. Um, and cashews, cashews or almonds, 
Um, I know that in the raw diet you're supposed to eat them raw, and I do buy them raw. I just don't like the almonds raw. They kind of gross me out, so I'll buy the roasted almonds. They're not that great for you, but I mean, it. you know, it's better than eating cheesecake. So, yeah, so that's kind of what I live off of. Um, in addition, I'm having a big glass of alkaline water. I go to a health food store that carries alkaline water. And basically what you do, I have a video on this on my um, health and lifestyle eating video if you want to look into that more. But there's a place, it's a little small specialty store in my area that has a sink that actually has the um, filter on the sink that makes it alkaline. So what you do is you purchase uh, glass jugs at their place and then you fill up. Um, so you basically have to bring your jugs in and fill up the water and carry it out with you. So um, I'm actually going to do that errand as well. Uh, this is like the last of my water. Um, once you start drinking alkaline water, you really don't want to go back to regular. On my um, sink in my kitchen, there is a really great water filter that my dad installed. It was, you know, a present from him. And I use that for cooking. I, the dogs drink out of that. But um, for the most part, we really don't drink that water, even though it is filtered. We drink the alkaline, unless we run out and we can't get to the store. But once you start drinking the alkaline water, you feel the difference, you taste the difference. It's amazing. And I know it's healthy for your body. So, um, yeah, so just a little tip if you guys are interested in my raw lifestyle, um, especially vegan lifestyle. I'd say 75% raw. <laughs> okay, guys, have a great day. I'm going to finish the rest of my food and I'm going to be on my way.